Hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval Engineers. Where we're working on Bridgehaven and the last episode we built our hospital over here and that's looking all nice like and it'll look even better once all the other structures are built up around it just like everything on this island. This island is huge. So many structures to build but this episode we are building yet another kind of specific building and that's going right here. This that's some, I mean, there's nothing here really. I mean, you can't really see it yet, but this will be our awesome um, town forum, town hall. I mean, of course there's gonna be a castle and things like that, but this is just a town forum, more or less. It's not really passing any laws or anything like that, but it's just a gathering place, people to discuss openly the going ons. So, thinking a fairly large, Kind of open area a few covered spots as well and maybe some battlements if that's uh something i think is necessary so let's go ahead and get right to it no time to delay so I'll just throw in some windows of course Windows are main measuring source, same with our wonderful doors. There we go. Then here, and here. All right, so what I want to do is have some pillars supporting kind of the first floor. So, looks like we have a little bit of room to spare here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, let's see. I think we can do this. That gives us a nice little two by two main kind of supported column area. I wish columns were easier to place on top of each other. Mine tend to... Well, actually, it looks like I have to rotate it. It's just how the voxel works, I guess. So there we go. That's alright. And then we can bring off some doorways from here that can lead to other areas. Now it's fine if it's a little bit off center in terms of the inside, but let's see if I can't fix this a little bit. There we go. Yeah. In worst case scenario, I can just move things around a little bit to try and get things to line up where we want them. But as always, the best thing to do is to kind of design your floor plan as if you're building a home or something, I guess, in gamer related, like The Sims. Because, you know, you, you want to start with your foundation. Once the foundation is laid out, it's pretty solid and it's the shape you like. Then you can definitely go from there rather easily. And just add layers and details on top of each other and I feel like Bob Ross talking like this. We're just gonna paint some happy little trees and you know just there are no mistakes here just happy accidents and you build from those and you develop depth and layers. That's how I build but you know there's no right or wrong way you guys can build however feels right to you. Obviously I've been watching that stream too much. The stream is over, sadly. If you guys missed it, shame on you. you. Gotta get your Bob Ross in. It is a wonderful time to see chat mimic his his mannerisms and things of that nature. It's 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 funny. It it was it was making me laugh um, pretty regularly, and I I enjoyed it for that reason. Here and here. Alright, and 
there. Kind of a cool entryway, hopefully. You know, you can come right in. There'll be this kind of public square. And hopefully that looks good. All right, so let's decide where we want our staircase. Now, obviously a good place would be to put them up here as uh, we have that kind of dead spot. Let's think of how to wrap this around. Okay, well, we can just get rid of that corner and place a solid block. Plus, the solid block will be able to hold more weight anyways. Though, so, I guess that staircase technically makes the most sense in this space. And then sticking one of these on top. Yeah, that's that's probably what we're going to have to do here. Already six minutes in. I'm feeling really decisive about our floor plan here. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's bring back normal door. There could be storage space under here. Who knows? It could be whatever you want. That's the nice thing about it. And then I can grab this kind of vaulted roof. Just slam all the way through. Make it nice and solid. And on the inside, it will look pretty nice because we have that nice kind of vault effect going up. flush to the ceiling. There we go. Just a nice little arch. Now we are up on the next floor, which we can put a little bit of a clear story effect on here. Alright. And let's grab our wooden floor. I plan on this to be a little balcony type area here. Such as that. Oh, it's a frowny face. Let's change that. He's too sad. Let's, let's make it look probably a little, a little bit more, I guess, menacing. I think would be best here. And no better way to do that than add full battlements instead of just the streamlined ones. There we go. Now the eyes aren't quite as noticeable and looks a little bit more grand maybe. Still a little bit of a frowny face, but that's okay. Put our door here. Of course, our windows. All right. And, and this thing is supposed to look a little bit like a castle, but not nearly as many towers on it for sure. In fact, I'm trying to decide if I want couple turrets on it because it's going to be connected to the main wall maybe I'll have to decide that when we bring the wall over that might be a decision later in its lifespan there we go we can do that Let's put some pillars on the side here make this look a little bit more solid In fact, let's, let's double these up just so it's just that much thicker all right all right we 
can probably connect these to the walls once those are raised. And that'll give it some, you know, farther structural integrity, which would be pretty nice. Now, the round pillars for the verticals, I think, is doing us fairly well, so we'll leave that for now. And that'll just be a very open area, very nice to to be in, very public, I feel. And then there could be offices on the sides, or just rooms, other entities can rent out. Maybe it could be an embassy in a location, who knows? It's just uh, a cool, interesting building, something different than a home. Is what I'm going for. Now, I could. It's gonna sick. Yeah, let's do something a little cooler. With the second story windows, we can, we can make them those, those open things by connecting the archways here. I don't think that'll look too bad. Sure, everything starts to look a little bit like a little face, if you think about it, because we have these two little windows above another opening, which could be a mouth or a nose. You know, it's just what happens when you start working on these. Most homes, if you look at their window placement and door placement, they do look a little bit like a face, so it's fairly normal when things like this happen. here nice and tight that will look nice on the staircase too when you're going up and down so you can see kind of how open this public forum is going to be debate rooms or who, who knows I'm just building something cool for you guys Thing, definitely a little bit more solid. Let's uh, increase its foundation too while we're at it. Just give it that extra width on the base. As I lag, as I add each individual block. Pretty normal occurrence at this point. It's probably a little jarring for you guys and I apologize. Not much I can do about it. There we go, walk that down. One, and two, and boom. Yeah, there ought to be more balconies and more effects or something along here. You know, it could even Something like this. I'm gonna throw a floor down. Just be a clear story type area. Put our pillar sideways. And verticals in the corners. Yeah, so much variation you can get by. Uh, just slowly adding details in and like on this I'll be able to put a flush kind of door here and maybe technically a solid wall and to put a pillar just to match the effect though there we go so that's solid looking you know it's accessible it's, it's nice and clean which is nice. And we're already at like 14 minutes, so I'm gonna finish up this structure for you guys, and then uh, you guys can tell me what you think.
All right, and here we are, quite a ways away from everything. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a distant view, just so you can see how everything's coming together. You'll probably notice that the finished town hall, uh, meeting hall, whatever you want to call it, forum, town forum, town forum, I think is a good name. So the town forum, obviously, is one of the tallest structures here. And if there was a clock to put on it, I would put a clock on it, but oh well. So, let's go ahead and zip on over so you guys can see kind of the finished look. I think it's a nice, compact kind of forum. It's pretty cool. It's got these two little porches on the front and uh, just a tall tower in the middle, which is pretty nice. Just to give it a little bit of a round feature. Now if we head inside, we are greeted with the main entryway. Now a lot of this has changed and rechanged and fixed compared to what you guys saw me building on. And that's just, that just happens. So I didn't, I didn't like the way the original plan was looking, so I moved a lot of things around. We have kind of an entryway of stairs. We still have our open kind of pillar open a uh, forum here to or atrium to get to the different wings this side has just an open room there's actually a balcony area up there which is pretty cool and then a fairly large back porch which eventually i kind of want to put a little plaza back here for uh, fancy parties things like that for the townsfolk to celebrate at while well, important people can celebrate at the castle itself and then this is a mirrored structure so i'm going to show you just one side we have just an open room of course our one porch which looks pretty cool and then another just open room kind of a nice open window there everything there's a lot of windows in this structure because i want to have a lot of good views out from it and of course bring in as much light as possible now if we head back to the entrance and head up the staircase we can actually reach the second floor here if i can just clear the little little step there we go sometimes you just have to sprint to get over this there is a decently sized room to each wing and then of course the balcony that we mentioned earlier that you can look down onto the first floor which is pretty cool i like these kind of things and of course you have a nice wooden guardrail and then if we head up this staircase there's one on each side and kind of crouch just to get underneath the awning there and we have upper storage i mean there could be crates up here there can be barrels things to store for maybe parties or events town events and this is our access point to our tower if we just walk on up here you can see that we do get the occasional good view out these spare window you can see that the town density, if I can actually get up here and point it in the right direction, would be great. It just looks so good. I can't I can't wait till everything looks that dense and nice, because it, it's just what we're shooting for. So up here, of course, you're going to have one of the best views in the residential district. It is the tallest point. You can look down, see down there, and peer over the edge at all the going-ons. And then, of course, you can see the previous areas that we've already built. So, I think that's all I'm going to do this episode. This did take quite a while to construct and make sure it's structurally sound, because it is structurally sound. I can actually show you that when we step outside here. It's probably really dark for you all now. And if I bring up the structural integrity, you can see it's all green. Everything structurally sound in the town. And uh, I, I would have no problem loading this thing up with structural integrity turned on. Another little side of note is I had a little fact here to the chimney of the boiler room to the bathhouse. And I, I really like this. I might add this to most chimneys because it's, it's fairly nice and clean looking. I like that effect. So what else? What else? We have a little back garden area. That would be cool if we had some shrubs or something to put back there. I like the little entryway. It's very kind of uh, gated, which looks cool. 
And then this is our access point to this section of the wall. Once it's kind of built and connected, I need to build the home that's here and figure out how to cross this gap for part of the wall. You know, just, just routine things going forward. But as always, I would love some suggestions on what else to put in the residential district besides all these homes that have yet to be constructed. We do have a decent amount of room still for specific buildings. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for more creative goodness such as this. Go ahead and hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.